All right, let's get off light fog and go on to a new light source. Okay. Same things apply. I need some shadows. And this time I want to kind of go over barn doors. Okay, let's turn on barn doors. By default, barn doors does not do a thing. But I can adjust that. So if you look at it, see up at the top this detail right here? It allows me to see exactly what I need. Um, let's say I go like this, trim this spotlight up to a square. Okay. There we go. Nothing here though. You notice that. When I render, I get a square. The barn doors will save you a ton of time in making alphas, which is my next lesson. In Photoshop, let's do something. Let's make a new uh, 512 by 512. Let's go in here and put maybe, oh, let's see if what I got here. I'll use this raggedy thing. You can use any brush, but, okay, that's what I'm making. And then I'm going to save this as, and I'm going to save it under uh, lights, and I'm going to save it under images, and call it JPEG light block. Okay. It doesn't have to be a JPEG. JPEG's worst case scenario, actually, but it just shows that you can use just about any format. Here, under color, I'm going to attach that as a file. And under file, I'm going to choose that on the desktop under lights, image is, and light block. Okay. Now, instead of barn doors, I could use this. It's almost in reverse, but let's uh, let's adjust the barn doors off first, and I'll show you how to quickly fix that. Okay, there we go. And I could choose barn doors off if I wanted to, but to fix the light, very easy. Just go back into Photoshop and go image adjustments invert. File save, and then back into Maya, where now what you have to do is click on the light, click on color, and hit reload. So there we go. I have the same light I had before, but now I have some kind of block towards it. Okay? You can use that to make the bat signal if you wanted, whatever. You know, whatever. If it's inver invert like it was, that's what's going to get tr translated down is the shadow of it. And this way, I block the outside by inverting it. So that's how you make the bat signal compared to maybe a rough pipe that you're making light go straight through and the pipe has some kind of clogs. And then that's making something on the floor like this. So got to use your imagination that way. All right, so that is the two different areas at which you can block light to shape light onto objects.